of you want to do things right. To keep up with keeping your lives tight. Tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you want to truly succeed in attaining all and that which is your need? To be heard by the real answerer of all deeds, the true hero of all whom pleads. Who of you really want to bow down to the true king of kings commanding the crown? To worship the one that ever rules alone, commanding everything of creation from the seat of its throne. May I ease peace and blessings be his end about your presence. Welcome to an I Have Moment. All praise is due to Aiza Allah. I have here with me today uh, Brother Mumin Shabazz. And uh, I want to give a shout out to our host and co host who is not here with us today, uh, Brother Idris Taha and Brother Bakir Abdul Aziz, and, and, and my wife's um, Holy Queen Mother Rabia. May Aiza's peace and blessings be with him about your presence. Good, good to have you today with me. You know, I like to have a little company up here when I get to talking. You know, um, there are some things I, I've been thinking about. You know, uh, in our world situation, um, with uh, um, the signs of the time. You know, we have a lot of things going on, and you know, our Lord has said that it would let the devil, the servants of the devil run wild today, you know, in this day of revelation. And what's going what I see is that most people are taken by the jinn, taken by the devil's advocates, taken by the devil, as to where they don't recognize they're caught up in demonism and you know, in demonology or whatever, in the demonic life, you know, and lifestyle. And, you know, we had did this piece, uh, this group did this piece called Everything is Backwards. And in it, they described how what's right appears wrong, and what's wrong appears right, and what's what's good is bad, and what's bad is good, and everything is accepted as a perverted world now, you know. And um, we, you know, we got some sensitive issues, sensitive things going on, like um, 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 homosexuality, for one, is is is, you know, it's a thing that has always been in existence in the human family. Um, but it has not always been widely accepted. And, and because it's one of the things that the Lord itself has sent many messages out to speak against. And here it is today again, like it was in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, that this thing is, is, is a sign of, you know, like what's really going on today. You know, um, things that that's, uh, we're cautioned against are widely accepted, you know. And um, so, <clears throat> as I look out today into the world, there are so many things happening that uh, I can identify as a part of the devil's legion and a part of the devil's work, such as like down in Texas just the other day, uh, 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 one of the military men who happened to be a Muslim uh, killed up some people. And a psychiatrist. And a psychiatrist. And he happened to kill up some people. And um, and lo and behold, they didn't say American killed up people or psychiatrists. They said he's Muslim. And he killed up these people. So that's another tag that, that they put on the Muslims as to where the innocent people who believe in, in the path of Muhammad, the path of the way of Muhammad and Islam, ha will continually... Uh, suffer undue punishment because of them trying to stay with the truth that Jesus brought, that Muhammad brought, that you know Moses brought. Trying to stay with that truth, and um, and I think it's unfair, you know. But you know, um, this is the way of our life today, you know, and 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 it's like a general happening, you know. Um, what you feel about that, man? Well, I feel similar. Similar in that fashion, uh, I don't. I see so many signs of degradation amongst humanity, and so many evident signs of the signs that you know, as a religious person would read in his books, they would see that these same conditions that's happening today in our lives were the same conditions that were spoken about in the time of Muhammad, Jesus, and and Noah, and a few of the other previous messenger prophets that came, and. 
you would think, I would imagine that seeing all these signs, that they would be on the ready, the common man would be on the ready, looking for, with an open ear, open mind, open heart, looking for that messenger that in this day and time is to come. When that's what that was the condition, that was the signs revealed to them in those previous holy books. And these conditions of our day today just demonstrates that this is the time that a messenger uh, from the Lord Most High is to come and with a holy book. And the people, you know, they should be looking, if they want better for themselves, if they want a more, a greater quality of life, uh, and be more pleasing to their Lord, that they should be looking for that messenger prophet uh, because these signs does demonstrate demonstrate that. And true, the, the innocent holy people, the innocent religionists are suffering by the, 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 the hidden people's ability to control the media and, and put on a group of people, put on the Muslims uh, that they're crazy, they're bloodthirsty, they're... Um, they're bad people. Their way is wrong. And inevitably, inevitably, that's what people would come to come to understand that this this guy he's a Muslim. He shot up all these people. Muslims are bad. But if you was to investigate, which most people don't do, if you was to investigate and see what a Muslim the, the criteria that a Muslim is guided by his holy book, a believing a, a believing Muslim, you would, if you are a sincere person seeking the truth and seeking to decipher between what someone that is in control of the media is telling you and what you're looking for, you would, if you ask the Lord Most High, you will come to a decision and say, well, what you're saying about them isn't true because this book says that the believing Muslims should act in this way. And if you so happen to get an opportunity to see a believing Muslim striving in that way, then you will be less uh, quick to judge the religion of, of Muslims, of Islam, in a bad way. Well, you know, on, on the side of what's really going down, um, people have a tendency to judge what they hear from others. And you have to re realize that there's been a lot of work involved in, in making the people believe across the world that there's no no messenger of the law to ever come again, for real. You know, uh, the Muslim world themselves have promoted that, to, to push that, that there's no one to come from a law ever again since Muhammad, you know? And, and, um, and the other thing is the ministers, priests, preachers, uh, you know, the religious leaders, they have taken the place of the messengers of the Lord mm -hmm. in the minds of the people you see and when you got one who could call himself father and, and the holy father and the nearest one to the Lord on earth in Vatican City and millions or if not billions of people believe him and follow him in that them that organization in that way where you have blatant truths and written in revelation that stands against them that prophesied against them. So you know the world is, is blind and gone. But see, here's the whole deal. Whether the way you turn, whichever way you turn, rather, there's the Lord unseen before you. And people don't believe that. And the power of the Lord is in everything. The thing about the Lord L, the thing about L, that which is really uh, the creator of the Lord, the master of the Lord, the the uh, uh, reality of the Lord of the Throne. Um, nothing in life touches it. It touches everything. Nothing in life affects it. It affects everything. And it is the creator and the doer or the maker of good and evil in people, in things, you know? And it gives us ways to exist and to, to recognize that we can come, you know, to the right or the left of it by certain th ways that we act from within our hearts and in our minds. But you look out today when people don't believe in the law communicating with man, and, and you get you get ministers and priests or religious leaders that tell you, you know, like, uh, this is the way you do a thing. You must go to the servants of the Lord. 
uh, not the Lord. Like they say in Christianity, all we need is Jesus. We don't need Christ. We need Jesus. Mm -hmm. right. You know, we don't need the reality of, of Christ because we got its son. You know, we don't need it. That's false. You know, and because that anything created is less than that which is uncreated real. Mm -hmm. You know, and that thing that's uncreated real, that's what we need. The thing that creates everything else, you know. We need that as a leader, as a guide, to get through the maze of life and what have you, and to not be caught up by what it has allowed the people of evil to do today. Because it has allowed the people of evil to go perverted today in the world, you know. It has allowed it for a time. And it has, everything is created by numbers. Everything is created by time, and time is in numbers. And, and all that we see going on today has an ending time, a number, a numbered ending time that whoever is alive is going to suffer that end with it. You, you feel where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. So we are subjected to it, and, and no matter what we do, we can't escape it. So the best thing we can do as human beings is give up. Give up to it. Up but, to but you know, here we are today uh, living false lives, hypocritical lives, you know. And that's what most people, man, religious or not, living hypocritical lives. You do, you know, the most true people today, and I don't mean to just keep going on past my periods and stuff like that there, but I'll give you, you know, just give me a second here. Um, the most true people today, on a large scale, are the people of evil. The most evil people. Mm -hmm. The ones that say they don't give a damn about life, they don't give a damn about humanity, they don't give a damn about man, they're going to take what they want. You only live once, they're they going to do this, that, and the other. They, you know, they're going to have theirs any way they can by hook up. They're more truthful than religious people who say that they surrender and submit to the Lord Most High, yet they partake of what's going on in the world. They submit to the world, you know? And here, like you look in this lowly human family of the Afro-Americans who's still letting their enemies pick their leaders, and they're just as blind as could be, and their leaders being handpicked on every level. If their leaders is handpicked on every level and they're set to be, to be led by those leaders, who are leading you? Your enemy. Your enemy who you are trying to overcome is ultimately your leader. That's crazy. That's perverted. And it's, it's like um, when people are in trouble, they call on, Aiza, you know, internal. And when some they, external. Yeah, some <laughs> external. And internal. And in, in, yeah, yeah, depending on the severity of the trouble that they're in, you know. But a large, That's true. Yeah, a large portion, they always go inside calling the Lord in their, in their closet. They get quietly in their closet wherever them, you know, quiet by themselves, and they go deep and they, they offer sincere praise and prayers mm -hmm. to the Lord. Yeah. But then once the Lord takes them out of that situation, they go back, you know, setting up equals uh, with the Lord, calling on other things. But in reality, the Lord is always within and outside, mm -hmm. and the Lord is the one that we really need in all situations uh, that we're going through in life. You know, even we get through situations we don't understand, it's best for us to call on the Lord when you called on the Lord when you was in a, a dire situation. You know, continually to call on the Lord so that uh, it could be your intimate, most intimate friend. You know, go ahead. You know, yeah. it could be your most intimate friend and your most intimate love and everything. And then I believe in that way. You will you will see that you don't need anything else, but you need the Lord, the Lord Most High, and it will give you everything that you need and guide you in the right directions for, you know, for your, your, your peace sake. For your sake for you know, Aiza Allah, Aiza, in the name of Allah, put it in his holy Quran that he gave to Muhammad in his words about when people are in the ocean, it gave a similitude, an example. When people are in the ocean and the waves is taking them 
and they they're afraid for their life. They're afraid of drowning. They get down and they beg and they cry and they you know to the Lord Most High, please save us, oh Lord, you know. And they call on everything that they think is greater than themselves to help them. And then when they get on the shores, they say, look at what we have done. And the, and the people say, oh, the great captain of the ship. Praise the great captain of the ship. And the captain sticks his chest out, you know, and go on shore and say, I'm the great captain, so and so and so and so, and I can take you over these seas, you know. And that's the way people are in life in general. That's, that's what the similitude was about, or the similitude. Uh, it, 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 it expressed how people would call on Aiza in the name of Allah, or Amen, or Ra, or Christ, or whatever, and, and ask and beg for its help when things are bad. But when things are good in their sight, then they back off and say, right, we don't need the Lord. Basically, we all right. When I need Allah, I'm going to call on it. But, you know, I'm all right right now. When we are in, have we ever in need of, of Aiza? You know, what is good and what is bad? We are not the judge. We don't know. We can't tell, but we think we can. When things don't, don't hurt us and we don't feel the pain, we think we are right. You know, but look at, look at, look at the scourge of life right now. You know, the Lord said, and I said this back in the 90s, in the mid 90s, the Lord said that it's going to turn the microorganisms and everything against us, all the elements against man. Nature's going to be turned against man for the Lord has been angry. And then I said at a later time, the Lord said to me that it is angry is this, uh, 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 with the Afro-American people because they have turned from, from it uh, for the last time again, turned from it. So it is angry with them and they're going to suffer the same punishments all other people in the world is suffering because it chose them and they refused it. So now we see things like AIDS and SARS and SARS and um, swine, flu. swine flu and all different things coming out of us. We can't see it. We don't feel it until it's too late. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing we can you know? do about it. And, and the thing about it is what I'm saying is we always are in danger. Our lives are always in danger. Except when, our, when the Lord put its protection around us from the other forces of, that it creates of life. When you get up in the morning, you're in danger. We sit here in this, in this place that we call holy, because we in, of this holy gathering, and it's danger all around it. I remember a lady said to me, an older lady who acts like a young girl in her mind, said, oh, I, I hope the uh, asteroid showers the showers, the comet showers come past us. And I'm speaking about this because they, we have some coming now. And she said this to me about two, three years ago. I hope that it, that I, you know, it comes where I could see it so, you know, clearly. And I was looking at her, you know, and she always so perverted, hoping for things. Like she told me, I hope it snow so deep. I just hope it snow so heavy. I love snow. And I'm like, this person is, is so perverted. You know, you don't you remember you got a car you got to drive, you got to get dug out, you, you know, so many accidents, so much accidents, things going down because of the snow. And she's talking about this comet shower. I said, do you know that is a danger to Earth? If you could see it with your naked eye, as far as I'm concerned, it's too close. You know? And this is before... The shower hit, I think, um, Uranus, or was that, what was, what was that one that we could see where, where it just, what's that large planet, the real large one? Saturn? I think it was Saturn. Saturn, Saturn yes. Yeah, it wasn't Saturn? Which is the one with the big we at, um, storm stars, I mean, circle on it? Saturn. Saturn. Jupiter. It was Jupiter. 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 Anyway, they said that the explosions... And the area that was damaged was larger than Earth itself. Wow. And she wants that to come close. <laughs> close to her. Close to her. And, you know, I mean, I don't worship life. 
just as I don't worship death. But I'm not looking for pain. Right, right. I'm not looking for anything that's going to come here and cause me pain where I have to live in this thing. Mm -hmm. You know? So if, if an asteroid or if a comet or if a, 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 a rock hit the South Pole and it's going to do damage up here too, here we go. You know? But, um... You were talking about how the African Americans are cursed, you know. Yes. And, and I see that, like, you know, because I work with the public every day. And I see, especially in our youth, you know, how they take on the menacing look, the yeah. demonic uh, yeah. clothing, the demonic yeah. uh, actions, always looking to provoke. And I just, like, I get kind of, like, um, disturbed because they really don't know the appreciation of life. They don't really know what they're throwing themselves to and what they're throwing away. You know, they have a great opportunity to, if they would behave right, they can gain so much more because they're going to have to be accountable for their actions. Whatever behavior they take on, they're going to have to pay dues for those actions. And unbeknownst to them, they don't understand the universal laws or, you know, karma or cause and effect. And yet and still, they continuously follow the devil's footsteps and trying to, you know, provoke you to cause confusion, menacing, uh, disturbance in your life. And that same thing that they're putting out is going to come back on, on, on to them. And if people would just open their minds and open their ears and open their hearts and hear your calling to them to turn their direction f away from that type of menacing mentality and what have you, and turn your, 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 your mind and your heart and your ears towards uh, surrendering yourself to Aiza, your life in the future may be much, much better. But if you continue on this type of course, you're going to have, uh, you're gonna have problems in your life later on. You know? I, I hear what you're saying, you know, but you know, it just, the thing about it is that you're dealing and with the public, and it's almost like a one-on-one -on -one -on -one personal situations, you know, with, that you see so many of them, you know, with your job and everything. And, uh, but you know whose fault it is? It's the adults' fault. You know? It's the adults who were, who, who were children once before and who have met the criterion of the devil, of the jinn, the hidden men of power who, who support the devil. They met the criterion to be taken up as the leaders. Huh? Right, I see what you're saying. They were educated and chosen mm -hmm. for their education. They weren't chosen for being educated of the divine. They were chosen for being educated of the world, to being educated of the Americans, to be an educated American, to fit the criterion of what the Americans want in people. So because they fit that criterion, they were made, the, they, they, the doors, or the, the lanes were already prepared for them to walk up those lanes to become the leaders who would subject us to the continuous mentality of not being educated in a righteous manner. So now the children you see out there were raised by these devils who appear to be good because of their education. Because they fit the bill that the, the advocates of the devil have placed them in to, to be leaders. Now you think about our leaders, our religious leaders, religious leaders now, talking about lordly leaders, godly leaders. They marching us to the White House. That's a heavy thing, man. That's a real heavy thing. When have the White House become greater than the Lord Most High? They march us to the White House for salvation. Huh? To be saved. To praise and worship. Even the Muslims then took the men down to pray at the footstep of the devil's house. The White House. And I say devil's house with great meaning. Huh? What happened to the Lord? See, they have, they, at the White House, they have no opposition when everybody is turned to them. 
How can we escape this when everything that we have in religion today is curved into the White House? Huh? When they have made our preachers the civil rights leaders. How can you lead God and make and, and lead in God and make God and on the divine path? How can you step with mammon, the worldliness, and the Lord in spirituality? What happened to the spiritualist? See, the devil's advocates has worked very hard to keep take down spirituality, true spirituality. So when we talk about true spirituality, we talk about true reality. We talk about true living, acknowledging the Lord Most High, which is at all places at all times, which people want to say, oh, it's not ubiquitous. It's not. Come on now. You know, religious people want to argue against that. When we talk about these things and our people look at us strangely and want to begin and end their life right here on this plane, with the goods of this world, we are lost people. We are very lost people, man. Uh, the Lord said it has set down a new, uh, renewed the path of the way of religion, and it calls us I had believers. Those of you out there who, who believe, take firm to being I had believers, because Allah has cursed the Muslims, the so-called Muslims. Believers in the path of the way of Muhammad that has been made crooked. Because Muhammad did not walk it that, the way of those people who call themselves believers or Muslims. Muhammad did not walk that way. Many Muslims don't want to hear that. But it's the same thing that they was telling the people of Christianity before my coming. That Jesus didn't walk their way. Muhammad did not walk their way. Because Allah had it, the, the path of the way is straight and it's not confused. And when someone comes on the scene, one like yourself, clarifying the errors that have been uh, allowed to be weeded into these religious books, people should open their ears and listen and listen to you as, and, and investigate you and investigate your material that you put out and see that Aiza speaks to you, Aiza's guiding you, and it's a mercy for them that you're here clarifying things for them for their own, for their own benefit, you know? They should, but it is so, so hard for them to do that. Yeah. You think about yourself. Think about when you was growing up. And you think about... about no, well, think about me. Right. <laughs> about me. You know, I know when I was growing up, and, and there were certain things... Planted in my head, it was hard for me to change that. You know, um, I've been given a signal saying that we have just a moment here, so I'm gonna have to, you know, say may I use this peace and blessings be within about the presence of our New York audience. Please tune in next week. We're gonna be continuing on this conversation. Who of you may I use this want to do things right? Presence. Have a good week. To keep up with keeping your lives tight, tight as in being right with the truth of true insight. Who of you want to do things right? Who of you?